for reaction to the Democrats' better deal. We're joined by someone who's thought a lot about it, author and columnist Charles Krauthammer. Charles, do they mean it? I think they do. I mean, Democrats for a hundred years have been the, or portrayed themselves, saw themselves, starting with FDR, as the party of the working class. I think the problem for Democrats is they've been living off their glory years for the last 20 or 30. You know, in the mid 20th century, they did great things for the country. They invented Social Security. Right. They decided the, the elderly should not be destitute. They were, they're the ones who gave us Medicare, Medicaid. But the problem is, as Daniel Patrick Moynihan wrote in the late 1970s, the Democrats, who were the party of ideas for three generations, ran out of ideas, and it's the Republicans, conservatives, who came up with the ideas in the Reagan days. And it seems to me the Democrats are still living off that legacy. I mean, I, I have no objections to anything in the program that you have heard outlined. I'm rather amused that it's a better deal, meaning, you know, we had the new deal, yeah. we had the fair deal, so deal seems to work for us, so let's try it again. But this is stuff at the margins, the minimum wage, for example. These are old policies that are now being put together in some kind of ideological framework, but it doesn't really work. We just had the study from Seattle about the effect of raising the minimum wage. No, no, it does, it does, it's a math question. It doesn't work, but the orientation toward the middle class I, yes. seems a good idea. Is that po possible, though, if your party is based on identity politics? Identity politics is about hating the middle class. It seems to me they went to identity politics because they ran out of larger national ideas. For three generations, they worked on the idea of a safety net, of a social network around people supported by the government. They brought us into the modern world because before FDR, we really had a, a government that could have been, I mean, it w wasn't that different from the government of the founders. The problem is, where do they go? They have their heart, perhaps, in the working class, but what are their ideas? It seems to me the only people with real ideas is the left, the Bernie Sanders. Yes. That's an argument that's got comprehensiveness to it. We want to go the way of Western Europe. That may not be the greatest society on earth, but that's their ideal. You start with national health care. That's not in the program that was outlined now. But national health care, the government runs everything. Uh, and that's sort of the staple. That's sort of the, the tent pole for that. The idea is the government will take care of you. High taxation, high regulation, and that's what the West, the Western Europe is the model of. It's not a terrible place to live. It's not a hellhole, but it's not America. America is rather different. We, we have a much higher attachment to the idea of liberty than we do to equality. There's no statue of equality in New York Harbor. Statue of Liberty. We're different that way. I think de Blasio is working on one. Uh, oh, yeah, but he's, <laughs> that's why he's failing. It's not going to work in this country. So, in other words, well, all I'm saying is, historically speaking, this is a modest attempt to get back to the ideal or the objectives of liberalism, but it's, so, it's such a paltry step that unless you go to the far left, I don't see how it works. Well, a party comprised of the rich and the poor cannot become the middle class party. I mean, I, I, I wish them luck. And that's why, as you say, they turned to identity of course. politics. Of course. It was a substitute for thinking in national exactly. terms. Charles Kramer, thank you. My pleasure.